wanted to be a thief like the rest of my friends and most of my family. But that didn't work out too well for me. Hi, my name is Johnny Steele, otherwise known as Johnny Boy. I grew up in the east end of Glasgow, a tough area in Cantine. Gangs were forming here and there. Stealing was plentiful. I wanted to be a thief like the rest of my friends and most of my family. But that didn't work out too well for me. I was wrapped up in the prison system from an early age, from 12 years of age, right up through to my late 30s. Spent a lot of time in prison, which was geared to break your spirit, to torment you, to stop you if you ever re-offending again. And it was that breaking the spirit that caused most of my problems. And as much as that I had to escape from prison, I actually fled from prison, fear of brutality, because of previous um, escape attempts. I actually escaped from Bologna Prison, one of the most notorious prisons in Britain. Um, we have sailed commando style off the top of the prison wall, the, t the prison rooftop, sorry. And um, that escape gained a lot of attention, a lot of publicity, and was loved by many, many people who classed it as Scotland's great escape. Not that I wanted to ever get involved in this kind of life, but that just so happened to be what was at the end of it all for me, who grew up in a life with a family so wrapped up in a criminal fraternity, where stealing was a norm, safe porn was a norm, bank robbing was a norm. But to get involved for that at an early age, that means that you're steeped in it, you're steeped in a rot. And it's like a cancer that eats away at you. There's really no escape, there's no chemotherapy, there's no debriefing you. There's no major help at the end of a sentence. And of course we realise now that we didn't need that kind of help, but during that period, at that moment in time in life, we thought we were on top of the world. And it just so happens we were well under the ground on our way to hell. I was involved in prison riots, two or three riots, various attempt escapes, which to me was norm. It was, an, it was normality for me to rebel against a system that was geared to torment me, to crush me, to break my spirit, my spirit, and otherwise to mess my head up more than it was already messed up. And it was easier for me to rebel against that system than it was to accept. And I know a lot of my friends accepted the system, but that system destroyed them, many of them in the long term. Some of them were destroyed there and then by taking their own lives because they could not cope with the harshness of the brutal penal system in Scotland and elsewhere. So I'd like to be a warning to a younger generation. I'd like to be an education. I get that some people might find that funny, they might be entertained, but my, what I'd like to put across is this ain't no life for anybody. Never will be, never could be. And all this tough talk, they'll never break me, they'll never do this, and I'll never give into this, and I'll never give into that. That's just fantasy. And anybody who usually comes away with such phrases, the truth be known, they're already broken. So they stand up against a system that's geared to crush you. And it will crush you. It doesn't matter how you get through it. It doesn't matter how many times you escape. It doesn't matter how many times you riot. That system will crush you at the end of the day. And you know, there could be changes come out of that prison that other prisoners could benefit out of, out of. Society could benefit out of it. It doesn't make you any better. It doesn't make you feel any better. Because the system that you took on in the first place with your bare knuckles had already crushed you, had already pummeled you into the ground. And really, you were fighting the fresh air, you were breathing on fresh air. You were in the last of your energies. Your mental strength was nothing to do with muscle. It was the mental strength, the savvy strength that saw you through. But you would never get through it in one piece. The prison was never geared for that to happen. This story is for gangster tales.